Hi guys, it's Kenya. I hope you enjoyed my last video and as I promised you, today I'm gonna show you how to edit the pictures I took last week. I'm going to pick three pictures which will represent three different setups which I demonstrated last week. And to edit them, I'm gonna use Photoshop. First, pick your images and then open them in Photoshop. I hope you know that, but I will remind you one more time. Always shoot in RAW format. RAW files are uncompressed and allow way more editing than just JPEGs. As you can see, because I shot in RAW format, I have the option to make my first adjustments in Camera Raw. Select all the images and start editing. We can change the temperature, exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, whites and blacks, as well as clarity and the vibrance of the image. Here you have the first adjustments I made. Compare the images and if you feel like you need further adjustments, this is the time to do it. Then select all the images and click open images. First, crop all the images to the size you want, in my case 8 by 11 and then save them. Duplicate the layer by dragging it to the icon in the bottom right corner and now do it again. Name the layers low and high. Click on low layer, go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur and use the settings which are shown on the screen. Then click on high layer, go to image, apply image and use the settings which are shown on the screen. Now you should have a grey image but don't worry, just go to the panel above and select linear light which will make your image go back to normal. You did that to create a frequency separation which allows you to separate the texture of the image from the tone and the colors. Stay on the high layer and then use clone stamp tool to remove all the imperfections on the skin. Be precise and use it on all the unwanted spots and add a blemish. Keep the opacity of the tool to around 70% to create natural changes. When you finish, move to the low layer and then click on the lasso tool. Select a part of the face and then go to filter, noise, medium and follow the settings on the screen. Repeat that a few more times in different areas of the face. It will help you to smoothen the image, reduce the contrast on the underneath layer as well as make the colors even. Now use the clone stamp tool again but keep the opacity lower about 20-40%. This is the last step of skin retouching. Now you have the chance to remove all the left imperfections, for example, darker circles under the eyes. This will allow you to make your image look very smooth, very natural, but still leaving the texture of the skin. The skin looks perfect. Now it's time to apply some brightness, contrast and color adjustment. Go to create new fill or adjustment layer and pick levels. Pick the settings you want by sliding the bar. Go to create new fill or adjustment layer again, but this time pick selective color. This tool allows you to cross blend your individual color channels, such as reds, yellows, greens, cyans, blues, magnetons, whites, neutrals and blacks. You can change and manipulate those colors depending on your preferences. To make the background a bit whiter, go to selective colors again, choose the color white and then change the percentage of black to around minus 20. You only want to change the color of the background, not the rest of the image. So pick brush tool and then click on your selective color layer and paint the area in black which you don't want to be affected by your selective layer. Already, let's compare the before and after photos. I 
I just finished editing and I hope you liked it. I hope the way I touched you was easy and smooth. Uh, I'm not gonna show you how I edited the other two pictures because I used exactly the same techniques. So now you know the pattern and you can just follow all the steps and get the same results. To edit those kind of pictures it usually takes about 20 minutes, sometimes more, sometimes less but the average time would be 20 minutes. I'm actually curious what you're up to, so if you did any photo shoots or editing with me, please upload any pictures on social media and use hashtag editing with Kenya so I can view the images. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned a lot. And if you did, please give me thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because the next video is something special. Bye bye.